All right, hi Sagittarius. Welcome to your July bonus reading. Good to see you guys. <laughs> All right, I'm outside at the park doing your reading here in nature. Um, so it feels really good to be out here. Had to get out of my house. So anyways, welcome to your July bonus reading. Uh, good to see you guys. Welcome if you're new. This is my channel, Triple Moon Oracle, and I'm Elizabeth, okay? So you guys won the bonus round um, from the last readings. You guys had uh, third highest most views, or however you say that. <laughs> All right. Let's get started. All of the information you need to know about me is in the description box. Um, how to be a part of my Patreon, how to get extra perks, how to get dis discounts on readings, how to get access to extended readings, how to book a personal reading with me, all of the information you need to know about my personal readings, my guidance package, where you work with me one-on-one, -on -one, all of that's in the description box, all right? And right now, when you guys sign up on Patreon, you're gonna get put into a drawing for a free 30-minute reading. I would definitely wait. If you wanna sign up on Patreon, wait until the first of the month because you'll get charged twice. You'll get charged for like July and then August, so wait till August and then you'll be put into the drawing for the August reading, okay? All right, let's get overall energy for you. Hopefully it's not too windy, my cards aren't gonna blow away, okay? Overall energy for Sagittarius, please, Spirit. Overall energy for Sagittarius, please, Spirit. Overall energy for Sagittarius. We have TikTok. So this card is kind of like my star card. Um, I see this card is about timing. Sometimes it could just indicate that you're feeling like you're running out of time or it could even be like divine timing. There's an element of divine timing here, okay. Overall energy for Sagittarius, please, Spirit. What is going on for Sagittarius right now, Spirit? Okay, we have all that glitters. So somebody could be wearing a mask or somebody could be not what they seem. Seem good on the outside, but maybe not so much on the inside, but we'll see, okay? We have why. Lots of yellow and like gold colors here. Interesting. Overall energy for Sagittarius, please, Spirit. Okay, and then we have soulmates in the reverse. All right. So there's something here to do about divine timing, okay? Or timing is at play here. I feel like there was a relationship that didn't work out for you where this person um, wore a mask in this relationship. They did not reveal themselves to you um, in the ways that somebody should, like in a partnership, okay? You have lots of questions surrounding this person and this relationship because I feel like um, I feel like you had high hopes about this person. I feel like you thought this person was your person. Okay, hold on just a second. Okay. So yeah, I, I do feel like you have the, you could be dealing with um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Or somebody with air in their chart, significant air in their chart. We've got your energy, Sagittarius, okay? I do feel like some of you are taking on, some of you have air in your chart as well, in your sun, moon, rising, or sorry, in your rising um, moon or Venus, or even north node, okay? Um, I do feel like you're kind of taking on the King of Swords energy, which the King of Swords energy definitely um, knows when to cut things out of their life when necessary. Like, 
he, he speaks his truth. He, you know, speaks in an honorable way and a way that um, serves him for his highest good. And so, and makes choices based off of that as well. And so, you know, I feel like, and the King of Swords is very rational, very strategic, very logical. And I feel like this is becoming a very logical decision for you to cut this person out of your life. I'm seeing the devil card in the reverse, which means to me, like, you possibly have already cut this person out, okay? And you're trying to release your, release the grips, okay, from this person. I feel like this person had a lot of toxic um, energy. I feel like they had a very strong grip on you. Um, partially because this person felt like they were totally meant to be, okay? Like, I feel like this person... Um, seemed like this your your meant to be soulmate when you met i feel like it was a very powerful meeting okay you could have used also considered this person a twin flame but i feel like you're coming out of some stuck energy in regards to this person okay so tell me what's going on with this person here yeah this person could have been very stingy with money um, could have been very selfish with their money, okay? But I also feel like this person is holding on to you very tightly. I feel like this person um, hasn't done the work, the necessary work on themselves and refuses to spend time on their own, okay? For some of you, this is somebody who's trying to get you back. But they're refusing to to spend time on their own and go um, in and do the necessary work. I just saw the world card. So there's an there there's a completion to this chapter for you. Okay, tell me more about this person's energy, please. Nine of Wands. You guys have been through a lot together. Okay, this this relationship. You guys have been through hell and back, and it's been. A battle I feel for both of you um, especially you okay I feel like you've been through hell and back with this person like and you have the war wounds to prove it <laughs> um, this person though you know this whole experience for you has made you extra resilient though you've come out of this situation a lot stronger than you were when you went in but still I feel like you know it really did a number on you with this nine of wands here. Okay. Yeah, four of wands in reverse. Some of you considered this person a twin flame, but things are not, we're not stable. Okay. And I'm going to give you my little spiel about twin flames. So that we just get things straight. Twin flames, you create your reality. Okay, first and foremost, you create your reality. If twin flames are something that you attribute, you know, as ascribe to and you want, um, you want to believe in twin flames, I don't say that I'm not saying that I don't believe in twin flames, I personally do. But if the relationship sometimes it boxes, it makes you feel like you're boxed into this one person because they're your twin flame, right? And sometimes people are. A lot of times what I'm seeing is people are holding on to very toxic people because they're their twin flame. And I don't agree with that at all. I don't care if you're my twin flame, you're my soulmate, we have a soul contract, you're my, I don't even know. Like, I don't care what label you have. You were here for me to learn a lesson and I was here for you to learn a lesson, okay? But if there's toxicity, um, if this person is narcissistic, abusive, very toxic, whatever, then I would never say, yes, stay with this person or go back to this person because they're your twin flame, okay? If anything, maybe there needs to be a, a really good distance away from you and this person for a very long time before anything could ever work out, okay? Uh, so I'm seeing with this hermit card in reverse. The distance, it's not, it hasn't been enough time. If, if, if there's even a thought of going back to this person, there hasn't been enough time in between, especially with this person, they have not let go. 
of this relationship and they haven't done the work that's necessary to come back to this relationship in a way that's healthy. We've got the death card on the bottom of the deck. This is an ending, okay? With the devil in reverse again. Devil in reverse again. Some of you are dealing with another fire sign. Leo Sagittarius Aries. Some of you, like I said, are dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius, okay? I do feel like now with this King of Swords in the reverse, I feel like this person could have been very manipulative. Like they use their words to get what they want. And they're dishonest, okay? And they hide a lot. They don't communicate because I feel like they're very secretive, okay? And that's this, this mask. Very secretive energy, okay? Especially with this Y card. Lots of secrets, lots of questions, lots of hidden energy with this person. They hide a lot. I feel like this person, when they were in a, you were in a relationship with them, they didn't tell you very much at all they told what you what you wanted to hear. And other than that, I, ha I hate to say it, but other than that, I feel like it was a lot of lies, okay? By the sword, yeah. This person was very selfish. Here's the world card again, completion. This is an ending, okay? Especially with the death card. Yeah, look at that. You're moving away. You're, go you're moving away from drama. You're saying no more. No more to this drama. No more to this back and forth fighting about everything, okay? This person was very, has a lot of drama attached to this person. This person also definitely um, was very selfish, in, in how they dealt with things. Like they always just wanted what they wanted and they did whatever they could to get what they wanted. I feel like this person had a very entitled energy and they just did whatever they needed to do to get what they wanted at any point in time, okay? But here, the world card again. I, look at this. After the six of swords, you moving on. Look what shows up. Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Stability. Happy home life. Happy family. A person who's actually stable. Okay, some of you could definitely end up connecting with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. For some of you, you've already met this person. For some of you, this past person is going to fight for you okay they're not going to give up easily five of swords five of wands because they know what they want and they're not going to give up you know they're the type of person that fights for what they want but in a very selfish way so while i feel like you're ending this chapter i feel like there's something else coming in for you something extremely stable and secure Okay? And if it's not an earth sign, it could be somebody with earth in their chart, or it could just be somebody who embodies this earth energy. Very grounded, very stable, very responsible, trustworthy. I feel like something is going to be revealed to you. Yep. I feel like something's going to be revealed to you that's going to help you drop this past person. I saw the moon in reverse. So there's, I feel like something's going to be revealed to you. That's going to help you drop this burden. Okay. And drop this past. This is, this is the end of a chapter as well. 10 of wands is, is the end. Okay. It's releasing the burden, releasing the stress of the situation and walking away. Um, and starting a new chapter. Knight of pentacles. Something you've wanted for a very long time is about to come in. And I feel like it's been a long time coming for you. You've waited for this for a very long time. You've had to go through relationships like this, you know, to get to this place where you're finally 
ready for this. Okay, but I feel like this is coming in for you. Ooh. Yeah, three of pentacles. This is somebody you can actually work with. This is somebody who you can actually have a real relationship with who wants to work with you, who wants to be with you, who wants to make things work, okay, on all levels. You could even end up like working with this person. You could meet this person at work or you guys could build some kind of empire together. I'm getting lots of pentacle energy here where you guys are gonna grow in stability. Like this, you can build a life, like a solid life with this person. I saw the Eight of Pentacles as well. So I feel like this person really fits with you into your life purpose and everything that you are wanting to do with your life. Like they actually are the puzzle piece that fits. This other person I feel like deterred you from your life purpose. They lowered your vibration, okay? They could have even affected your money or they affected like, I just, I feel like they affected everything. Your growth, your money, your stability, like everything. And they brought a lot of toxic energy into your energy field. And especially like if you're an empath or something like that, then it's that whole empath narcissist paradigm. Like, but I hope by this point that you have come to realize like that you deserve so much more. And many of you watching this have realized that and you're releasing this past energy and this new energy is about to come in. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. I just saw the Three of Cups in the reverse though, Two of Swords. You're gonna make up your mind though, okay? Three of Cups in reverse. There could be a little bit of energy of dealing with both people at, at a certain point. This past person trying to come in and you're trying to move on with your life, but you're gonna make a solid decision here, okay? All right, let's get a couple more cards and then we'll finish out. Yeah, it, it's definitely going to be a, um, mentally it's going to be a little bit rough, okay, releasing this person um, and fighting this person. I feel like this person's not going to give up easily on you, your past person, okay, and I do feel like it's going to, it's going to bring some, some fear and anxiety and sleepless nights to you a little bit, okay, but ultimately you're going to make a decision and then look. Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Pentacles here, remember? Okay. You have, some of you are walking into your de true destiny and your life purpose. Some of you are working very, very hard on your, your money, on a business, something like that. And this person coming in is going to match that level. Now, if this isn't somebody coming in, then this is you just becoming very stable, financially especially, okay? But I do feel like for a lot of you, this is another, this is an energy coming in for you that's going to match your energy um, because you've learned these lessons that you don't want to vibrate with those low frequencies anymore. Wheel of Fortune, Destiny, Fate. Okay, something fated, something destined, something meant to be is coming in for you. Okay. Let's get a few outcome cards. Look at that on the bottom of the deck. Right? Closure. Finally finding closure with this person. I feel like it's been a long drawn out battle with this past person, but you're finally, finally closing out this chapter. 
Okay. Look at this. You've got passion coming in. Love coming in. Well-being coming in. Finally feeling good and stable in this situation. Career, okay? Your career and your financial stabilities are going to take off, I feel, for a lot of you. Empowerment. This person is going to make you feel very empowered. You're already feeling very empowered as a person, I feel, for the most part, releasing this old energy. Confidence. Getting your confidence back. Okay, I feel like this old energy brought down your confidence. You're finding happiness again. And forgiveness, okay? Forgiveness, releasing the past, not holding on to that ickiness anymore. Saying, you know what? What's done was done, and I release you, and I forgive you, and I'm moving on with my life. Okay? All right, Sagittarius, that's your reading. I would love for you guys to subscribe to the channel if this reading resonated for you. Hit that like button for me. Um, and leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know how this reading resonates for you. I try to respond to all comments. Uh, and then also turn on all your notifications if you do subscribe. Um, I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you later. Bye.